Hey guys, it's Krugel again with another, well it's a continuation for the tutorial, this is the part 2 which deals with what you have to do with the phone to get multi-boot. So yeah, uh, in case you haven't already checked out the multi-boot uh, tutorial part 1 where I talk about all the files which you need and uh, yeah, uh, basically that. Uh, go back to the video and just see that if you did, do need that so yeah I guess that's it uh, let's get into this video now this is uh, this deals with what all you need to do with the phone so that means I've already downloaded the files I've got it onto the phone and now I'm going to start the multiple process now before you do this make sure you have enough battery life now I'm doing it with uh, full battery but anywhere from uh, 60 percent and above is good enough for multi-boot because multi-boot is not a very difficult process but the process may seem intimidating to a lot of people so yeah uh, okay first of all right now there is this slight problem of uh, not being able to have uh, multi-boot available um, well you can't multi-boot the lollipop rom as a second uh, as the second ROM with the stock configuration you need a separate script for that which I will discuss in the next part because that's well in my opinion lollipop ROMs are uh, coming out frequently and you may want to upgrade them and upgrading the second ROM is not something very uh, easy so I'm not really sure a lot of people will be using that but I'll still make that uh, so that you can have that also so for uh, introduction's sake, uh, I am running the beta 6 CyanogenMod 12 unofficial uh, by uh, just Archie uh, as my primary first ROM so that it does work. Uh, it does work with lollipop ROMs but not as a second ROM out of the box. So let's get started. Uh, I will show you guys the settings and uh, show you guys that uh, this is not ru currently running the Archie kernel. I will be installing the Archie kernel. This is not running the Archie kernel. Uh, not the Archie kernel. Ates 97's kernel which uh, which support multi-boot so let's get started now first of all uh, make sure okay first of all uh, flash the ROM which you want as your first ROM check if everything is working right now everything is working I haven't installed super su script yet you do need super screw super su to get the archie uh, the a switch app which works uh, work so yeah let's get into the re uh, recovery and see that working so as you can see, I have already entered a uh, recovery. Now I'm not using the fills recovery. Turns out you don't really need that to get the multi-boot uh, working. But um, it's still advised to use multi-boot. Uh, but there is an all other topic. I'm using TWRP for this. Okay. Now first of all, install the Otis kernel. Okay, Otis kernel is something like this. The latest version right now is beta five. So I'll be installing that for uh, this build so install that also uh, the latest version of CyanogenMod 12 ROMs does not come with uh, SuperSU built in so you do need to flash SuperSU also so I'll be flashing that too uh, just a matter of I'm using the beta SuperSU 2.4.2.41 uh, the latest version is 2.40 uh, I kind of tend to have this version available with me so I'll be flashing that this it doesn't really make it huge difference so that is flashed too now after this reboot the ROM and check if everything is working correctly because uh, there may be a few issue with the kernel not working with the ROM so just check that and uh, then only proceed with the multi boot so okay guys I have booted up the ROM and uh, everything seems to be working correctly there is no problems and uh, yeah uh, everything is working now I have installed the super Su script and also these two are available now which are the um, a test kernel features like a tweaks which from by which you can enable by flow sounds uh, overclock your system etc etc you have a lot of options in there uh, it does work out um, now this is what I'm interested in right now because a switch is the one which will allow you to uh, boot into your second ROM. Now this is pretty neat. You have uh, wipe your systems second second ROM systems and uh, second ROM uh, reboot into second ROM. Now this works in the way that if you are rebooted, if you are uh, if you have booted into the first ROM, when you restart with the device, it will re reboot into the same ROM 
So if you are if you have booted into the second ROM, if you reboot with the device, it will boot into the second ROM again. So you need this uh, for boot into the first ROM when you're on the second ROM to boot into the first ROM. I hope that's not too convoluted, but that is how it is. So. So it seems working, everything is working pretty neatly. So yeah, let's boot a second ROM onto it. So I've booted back into the recovery to uh, flash the second ROM. Now during flash, while flashing the second ROM, do make sure that you do have enough internal SD space. I recommend about five gigs of space internal. I mean, anything more is awesome. I mean. Okay, depends on the ROM which you are flashing. In this case, I'm flashing the Back to Newt ROM by Atis97 himself. So it has better compatibility, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, a lot of ROMs have good compatibility with this kernel, uh, namely 4.3 ROMs. So yeah, uh, the, di the difference is that if you are boot, uh, if you are uh, flashing another ROM as a second kernel, you will have to flash the artist kernel again. But uh, the back to uh, does have the artist kernel already in there, so I don't have to flash it again. So yeah. So before you flash the uh, second kernel, second ROM. You have to flash this one, which is Multiboot 2.2, which is the latest version right now. So just flash it. You don't need to do anything else. Flash it. It will give you this error uh, if you are on this recovery. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't reboot the system right now. Okay, rebooting system will change the kernel setting back to uh, the uh, recovery setting back to the first ROM. So the reason you have flashed that Multiboot script is to enable the recovery to recognize the partition that is the data slash rts97 second rom folder as your system drive so that anything else which you flash right now will go into that so that is pretty cool so let's get into the uh, flashing stuff so here is the back to newt uh, file which i've already copied so you do need that also so i'll be flashing this now uh, it will flash. Also, the aroma file, uh, which you may want to flash, that also works. So don't worry about that. So guys, I have flashed back to Newt version six, and it is complete. It is giving me an error, uh, unable to mount preload because it doesn't have preload because it is flashing into a folder inside the system. It's convoluted and stuff. It has basically been installed. So now what you need is. Um, you will have to reboot now if this was any other ROM which is not made by RTS 97 you will have to flash the RTS kernel again without rebooting because right now you have already uh, flashed the multi-boot script so it will flash uh, whatever you're flashing now to your uh, second ROM so multi-boot is already flashed you don't need to do that again keep that in mind because this might be a bit hard to get it but yeah if that is the case you have to flash this again okay I'm not going to do that because this ROM already has RTS 97 now I'm going to reboot the system and get into now this says that this doesn't have super SU because it is not detecting super SU in the second ROM because the second ROM does not come with super SU you will have to root you will have to flash that if you need that so yeah uh, let's do one thing I'll not be flashing that uh, but I'll flash it my uh, beta version so yeah now it'll boot into the first ROM, so from where I can select and go into the second ROM. So I have booted into my uh, CM12 ROM and it does work. It doesn't have any slowdowns or anything like that. So anyone who with a question of uh, will the second ROM slow down my first ROM, no it will not because it, does, it doesn't even uh, boot up with this because it just resides in your ROM. So um, yeah. Now what you need to do is use a switch to boot into second ROM. So just open up a switch. You will see all of this. It has been granted root permission. You do need root for this. I am stressing that enough. So yeah, let's get into the second ROM now. It will boot into second ROM. So now it is booting into the second ROM because it is, well, I've selected the boot into second ROM option. And as with any ROM, it will be a bit uh, slow at the first root. And there is kind of a problem with the uh, kernel that the second 
ROMs boot animation will be a bit slow but it will not affect the performance of the second ROM altogether. So as you can see I have booted into the second ROM which is back to Newt as you can see it is Korean because it is from the Korean S3 so I was selecting my language I'll set it up and I'll show you guys how this works. So here you go guys I have installed back to Newt as my second ROM and it's working fine it doesn't have any problems as of yet well I have used it for about a day and a half and it does work out I mean it is same as how it would have been if it was a first ROM so yeah let me show you guys the uh, about device page and I've already said this does have the Arter 97 beta 5 kernel so that is why you don't have to flash the kernel again if you are using a ROM which does not have this kernel which is 90% of the other ROMs and all of the 4.3 ROMs then you will have to flash this again I'm just stressing that again so yeah so yeah I guess that is it I will show you guys the um, stuff oh now if you want to root uh, if you want to flash something to the second ROM I will show you guys how to do that because we haven't flashed the super zoo on this one yet so it doesn't have super user script so as you can see it doesn't have super user it does have this one but it won't activate because it it needs super so so basically you can't right now you can't um, uh, go to your first ROM unless you have super so installed but don't worry I'll show you guys how to do that just turn off your phone and go to recovery okay so I'm now in recovery and I'm going to flash the multi boot script again because I want to uh, boot, uh, I want to flash whatever I am flashing now to my second ROM so I will be flashing this first so that it makes the uh, data slash autos 97 second ROM file as my system folder now it has done that uh, now flash your ROM or files to install on the second ROM slot so yeah that's what it does go home now install super so script I will install that that would make it take care of that and reboot the system now it will reboot into the second ROM because I haven't selected boot into first ROM so I have uh, booted into this uh, ROM that is my second ROM and I have already installed super so as you can see it does have the super so working now I will go now to a switch it will ask for the super so stuff I will grant the permission and now it shows me that I can boot into my first ROM. So yeah, that is it in the multi boot section. I will show you guys that uh, I can boot into the first ROM so that uh, you guys are happy about that. So guys, as I've said, this is now booting into my first ROM. So yeah, presto, it works. So that is how multi boot works. Uh, I hope you guys understood whatever whatever I was babbling about it is working now and if you want to go to your second ROM you have you can go to a switch and go to second ROM now right now okay now if you want to change your second ROM don't put this I mean don't okay you can wipe it from here don't wipe it from the recovery because even if you flash the multi ROM uh, script and then wipe it it will be wiping your first ROMs uh, settings and data so don't do that it will not work please don't do that because it's really convoluted don't do that just don't do that okay so I guess that should be it about this ROM now again this is preferably what I'll be using because uh, first of all the CM12 ROM is not completed yet it will be having a lot of uh, upgrades and I would like to flash new ROMs to my first ROM slot and try it out but when I really need my phone I will use the second ROM and probably a lot of people will be using my uh, the second ROM as their daily driver and if they want to get crazy uh, they can go with the lollipop version and just try that out the reason being lollipop ROM is not being able to flash into the second ROM slot without a few finagling and if you want to upgrade the second ROM slot which is lollipop you can't just uh, clear everything here and do that no it's not available like that it's not doable like that you will have to go through all the step steps and uh, reboot re make recoveries of the phone you have to uh, use terminal emulator to uh, copy the recovery files into the second ROM slot and do a lot of stuff like that I will be making a tutorial on that in the part 3 of this but this 
as far as I can see is where uh, how a lot of people will be using their ROMs as uh, their phones as so yeah so that is it with this one uh, so that is multi boot in a nutshell for you guys so as I've said now if I restart from this from this key it will reboot into the first ROM but if I go to my second ROM and restart from there it will uh, if I restart from there, it will straight away go to the second ROM. It doesn't have a pre-boot uh, selection process. You will have to go to either of the ROM to get into the other ROM. So yeah, that's just how it works for now. And uh, there are a few stuff which you have to think about. I will show you guys the. I will link. I will put a link to the uh, forum uh, for you guys to read about that. So yeah. I guess that much is it with the multi-boot, well, normal multi-boot uh, stuff. If you want Lollipop your second ROM, I will be making a part 3 of this one. So you can go ahead and check that. But it will take time because I will have to get a better SD card to make a recovery. Well, I have to back it up to the secondary SD card. So if you are having less than uh, 4 gigs of RAM uh, SD card storage you may have to get a better SD card uh, well, 4 gigs will be good but if you don't have anything in there I mean it, uh, a recovery file is about uh, about 2.5 gigs so I have only a 1 gig RAM, uh, ROM uh, SD card with me so I will be getting another SD card for you guys so yeah I guess that much is it in this video I hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye